and thank you for subscribing to our videos i pray that the lord bless you in jesus name also i want to encourage you to please subscribe and um, like our video as we finish this in the name of jesus today is monday and mondays we plan to um upload ministry videos as in the word of god sharing the word of god with us that's what we'll be uploading on mondays and this is a beautiful morning that the lord has made we will indeed rejoice and be glad in it so i'm going to briefly be sharing the word of god just to encourage us and to strengthen us even as we go through our daily jobs it shall be a glorious week indeed in the name of jesus the grace of god will encompass us god will make ways for us as we go in the name of jesus he will make the past straight he will meet us with his grace even as we go this week in the name of jesus i want to share on something i have titled who are you how do you see yourself the word of god says in the book of psalm 139 verse 14 psalm 139 verse 14 it says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made you and i it says i will give thanks and praise to you for i am fearfully and wonderfully made Wonderful are your works, and my spirit knows it well. God specially created you and I. Do you understand? He specially created you and I for a purpose. You have your purpose. I have my purpose. We cannot be the same thing. Some people will copy, want to copy other people. It doesn't work like that. Who are you? You can know who you are by the word of God. If you want to know who you are by self, be who you are to want to know by self is a selfish man. The Bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked. We are all selfish. But the moment we know who we are by the word of God, we are transformed. We are renewed in our heart. The Bible says be ye transformed, be ye renewed by the Holy Spirit, by the word of God. Somebody will ask me, how am I going to be transformed? I don't even understand what, who am I? You are a child of God. You know who you are by the word of God. You know who you want to be by the word of God. You know who you are supposed to be by the word of God. The word of God is our watchword. The Bible says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. When you have the word of God in you, it renews you. It opens your eyes to see who you are. You are more than a conqueror. He that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. You have your righteousness in Christ Jesus. You know, knowing who you are. When you know who you are, you are not intimidated. You are not pressed down. You are in charge by the word of God. Not a form of pride, but knowing what the word of God says about you. And how do you begin to know what the word of God says about you? When you let God reign in on the inside of you. How do you let God reign on the inside of you? By giving your life to Christ. Letting him reign. By knowing who he is. By seeking after God. You know? Not seeking after yourself. The self is wicked. It's selfish. But when you know yourself by the word of God, you love God. You love yourself. You love others. You know? That is what this message of salvation, of good news is all about loving ourselves loving your brother loving your sister loving that friend but you cannot love any other person if you don't first of all love yourself because the bible says love your neighbor as yourself so if you don't know who you are you don't understand who you are then you cannot love other people so you need to know who you are. So if you are not giving your life to Christ, even at this time, I just want to encourage you to make up your mind to make that one-time decision. It's a one-time decision. Then you begin to work on it. And you begin to get better. Like I have gotten better over the years. I am not where I used to be. I am not where I want to be. I'm a work in progress. But I give God praise because I'm not where I used to be. I'm a better off person. My life is transformed. My life is renewed. And that's why I'm sharing this good news. It's the best news anybody can ever give you. The message of salvation. Because when you are saved, and you really allow God to dwell in you, you know who you are by the word of God. 
Pride will not even be part of the things that you'll be working with. Envy will not be things that you'll be working with. Jealousy will not be things that you'll be working with. Because yes, others will be doing well, but you believe that the God that is on your inside will definitely do yours. Because the faithful God, you are wonderfully and fearfully made, created for you. The Bible says he is the potter, we are the clay. He molded us differently, but he put our, his spirit on our inside. And that spirit strengthens us. And that spirit speaks through us. God wants us to be the best of the best. But what works on your inside? It is what works on your inside that you bring on the outside. God is not looking at appearances. It is not God. Somebody will say, I'm fat. So people will not even like me. They will not want to talk to me. Says who? Love who you are. Love who God has made you to be. Some people say, I'm so skinny. No man will even want to marry me. Says who? Don't have those ideas about yourself. For what I know and I've read and I've studied a little bit about, we are all three-dimensional. What God says about us, what others say is about you, and what you say about yourself. Those other two, we'll talk about them later, but we're talking about what God says about you. What does God say about you? God says you are the best of the best of my children. I love you the way you are. When you love yourself, you see yourself and say, ah, this is me. Yes, I might be on the a bit plummy side. That is me. I might be on the thin side. Well, that is me. I might have um, short hair, natural hair, permed hair. I might have my wig. Those things don't really matter to God. What works on my inside? The Bible says the spirit of God dwells on our inside. The spirit of God quickens our mortal bodies on our inside. That is what is important. It is what is important. The power that works on your inside. It is the power that works on your inside that is transformed outside. When the power of God is working on your inside, you can live outside. But when what is working on the inside is broken, then the outside is broken. Then people talk to you, it gets at you. But when you are on your inside and you are strong for yourself on your inside, you can't be broken. That is what God says you are. You are an overcomer. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The Bible was talking about in the book of 1 Samuel 15. The Bible says, 16 rather, 1 Samuel 16, 7. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look at his appearance or at the height or his stature, because I have rejected him. For the Lord sees not as man sees. For man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the inward appearance. Do you understand? God does not see what we see. We are moved by, oh, those, these, those, that, these, 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 these. But really, what works on your inside? The Bible says in the book of um, Ephesians 3.20, God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we think or ask according to the power that works on our inside. So it is important what you build on your inside. And what is the best thing you can put on your inside to build you up? The word of God. The Bible says out of our belly shall flow rivers of living waters. When you don't have the word of God on your inside, what rivers of living waters, the spirit of God. When you don't have that on your inside, what are you going to bring forth? What are you going to bring forth? I pray in the name of Jesus that we will bring forth righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. I pray for us that we will bring forth the fruit of the spirit in the name of jesus god is going to help us but we need to make a choice of salvation we need to make a choice to say i'm going to give my life to christ i want jesus to reign in me if you are there and you have not given your life to christ i would encourage you to say this little prayer after me dear lord i thank you for this word of salvation i thank you because your thoughts towards me are thoughts of peace and not of evil to give me hope and a future lord i make a choice for you today I ask that you forgive my sins. You cleanse me. Lord, you purge me in the name of Jesus. I ask Jesus that you reign in me, that you walk in me. I ask Jesus that you cleanse me in your blood. Let your name alone be glorified, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm born again. I'm saved. I give you all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. We are saved. I am saved. You are saved. Continue in that light. Read your Bible.
communicate with God, pray and have fellowship with God. The Lord bless you as you do so. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. So please like and subscribe our channel. Every Monday we'll upload videos on the word of God, sharing together, encouraging ourselves, and we can be better off, better children of God, serving the Lord with fervency for his glory in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Watch out on Thursday for our craft video. Thank you.